Good evening and a very warm welcome to you. Of course, I'm Abdul Ali. We're here with Moving Forward, and I think this is about the 23rd program. But as usual, my host... Dara Hamilton. And mm. where would we be, Mr. Ali, if we weren't moving forward? Well, that's, we would be moving backwards. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to do that. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, but sometimes you move a little bit backwards and a little bit forwards, mm -hmm. and then you mm -hmm. center up yourself to see exactly Absolutely. where you're going. Mm -hmm. Well, this evening we're going to be talking to some individuals. As a matter of fact, they're going to be talking a little bit about living life, and we've entitled this Living Life to its Fullest, because we think it's, that's what we should all do. But these individuals, they have really gone and lived their lives, and they've got a lot more uh, to come. Our special guest tonight, let's see, we got David Herr, H-E-R-R, -E -R, and of course Eileen MacDonald. And I'm going to ask my good friend Dara here to just give the opening because she's the one who met these wonderful sure, people. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. And it's the most interesting story, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ali, because mm -hmm. you never know where you're going to meet such interesting That's people. True. But I actually met Eileen playing tennis. Oh, really? And she mm -hmm. was so friendly mm -hmm. and so much fun. Mm -hmm. And as I got to know more about her life, I became quite amazed as to how she and her husband David were able to do so much with their lives where many of us are kind of struggling to find meaning with it so I thought they'd be very good guests on our show. Absolutely so well I'm so glad that you're looking at that kind of thing because you were right there used to be an old saying in England you know don't know who you're going to meet in London town ah. absolutely and you just don't know so let's just um, welcome uh, David Herr and Eileen MacDonald so just begin by telling us a little bit about yourself and then we will go into some of the things you have done and I might just uh, mention uh, here that you have visited nearly the whole world so <laughs> we, we got to, we got to check in that's right have you been around yeah that means you've touched all those cultures all over the place and got a sense of what people there are thinking about and see yourself. It's just amazing. So go right ahead. Sure. Tell us a little bit about it. Um, I'll start before the travel. Um, I was a middle school teacher. I taught 6th, 7th, and 8th grade uh, language arts in a small town in northern New Hampshire. And um, I was not ready to retire, and I had found out, unfortunately, I had breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So I dealt with that treatment, and a long time ago, when David was just 34, mm -hmm. he had had cancer mm -hmm. and stage four and survived it. So as we're getting older and we're thinking about the so much we want to see and people we want to meet, um, and we had very limited resources, we thought, how can we do this? And we found this wonderful program called Willing Workers, on organic farms mm -hmm. and it's still in existence in fact some of my former students had been part of this program and I, I so I knew the name and um, you have to work totally trusting people that um, people need work done especially on farms and businesses and they would provide us three meals and a place to sleep in exchange for four to six hours of labor a day mm -hmm. And we had to fly to wherever we were wanted to go. And um, we thought, we're just going to start on one side of this earth and go, go to, to the, the other. other. Side, so yeah. we started in New Zealand. Mm. And we worked on a big farm. That's with somewhere the, close to Australia. Around yes, that way, not yes. too mm -hmm. far away. And um, we, um, I can remember telling David, I said, David, I found a way for us to travel and meet people. And he goes, okay, what is it now? And I said, this program, Willing Workers on Organic Farms. Mm -hmm. And he said, you want me to travel halfway around the world, mm -hmm. live with strangers. We don't mm -hmm. know where we're going to sleep mm -hmm. or what we're going to do. I said, yes, that's what I want us to do because you don't sign a contract. So I said, if it doesn't work, we can just leave. Mm -hmm. So he was very hesitant. And he goes, sure. <laughs> so he said he would try it. Mm -hmm. And so um, after living with 25 families and making the journey around the world, experiencing other people's culture, their so values, nice. their families, their homes, mm -hmm. I even got to play tennis halfway around the world. Mm -hmm. um, he's now was like, 
That was a really great example. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's, 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 it's really wonderful to just be able to do that because it involves taking some risks. You don't know, you might go meet people who don't really like you very much or some things are unfriendly. Yes. But you say, never mind, we will go and do what we have to do mm -hmm. right. and show them that we're here and we just, we're just we just part of the world as we go along. What about you, David? Mm -hmm. um, before meeting Eileen, um, I was in a general contractor. Oh, okay. um, I actually worked for her a few times before she would look at me. Mm -hmm. um, and then from there, we started uh, building together and then retired. Well, forced retirement mm -hmm. and glad to do that. And then this program, what I liked about that the most was we got to know what you were about yes. on this plant, not mm -hmm. just what the area is about mm -hmm. and how we can... Oh, what people say about you. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and so we were able to actually know what to say Kangaroo Valley. What is Kangaroo Valley really about? It, it's a, uh, a valley surrounded by uh, mountains. It's Where is one, Kangaroo Valley? Kangaroo Valley, Valley is south of uh, Sydney, Australia, two oh. and a half hours. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we didn't know what that was, but living there, you lived with a, the whole village. Yeah. The village came together as one, and this is where we really got to know what life is really about by helping other people. Mm -hmm. um, so, so, you know, David, I'd love to know what made you say yes to Eileen when she said, I've got a great way to do this. And We're she married. Put, You're married. <laughs> uh, he just couldn't refuse. I couldn't <laughs> refuse. Um, I went along to, to see, Eileen has been planning trips and so forth for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So everything she has done has been to uh, uh, move forward. Mm -hmm. um, and I, being Swiss, um, am somewhat anal. Mm -hmm. and I need things black and white yeah, and right. I still need that mm -hmm. but with Eileen's help I've been mm -hmm. able to come to the island of St. Croix and see the beauty mm -hmm. of oh, what so this is, is part here. Of the travels too. Yes. This is part of our travels too. We mm -hmm. actually after doing the woofing program in all the other countries we met a gentleman through his her aunt uh, who was building on the island of St. John. Mm -hmm. So we said to him We'll come and we'll work for the whole winter. Mm -hmm. You provide us a place to stay and some meals. Mm -hmm. And we did that yeah. from 2012 through, no, 2011 through 2015. Jeez. Got on a, a, we're sitting in a bar on St. John mm -hmm. and talking to people and they said, well, where they were from and so forth. Mm -hmm. And they said from St. Croix, mm -hmm. Eileen said, I would love to go to St. Croix sometime. Yeah. This lady leaned out over the bar, four or five women down, and said, Patty, you're going to take these people to St. Croix. <laughs> Patty leans out and says, OK, uh, be at the boat Friday or Thursday night, and we'll go from there. So we called the kids and say, we're going on a boat. We don't know the name of the boat. We're going with these people. We don't know the name of these people. And we're going to go to St. Croix. And we have no idea where no, that is. I, I love you, that. But you didn't know where any place was before you went there, right? No, so, no, no, no. I didn't know. You're, you're explorers. That's Explore. what you are. Adventurous, because yeah. you, know, you just don't know. So we came um, to St. Croix not knowing anything about St. Croix right. to just spend you know, I knew a little bit about the island, and um, we came, and I saw there were mountains that I could hike, and that oh there was diversity, <laughs> and um, but the people. It was the people the that people we really fell in love with, and mm -hmm. said, you know, I think we could live there. So, uh, yeah. We got off the boat in the harbor, mm -hmm. and just walking down the boardwalk, people oh, are saying, boardwalk. "Good morning, yes. good <laughs> afternoon, yeah. mm -hmm. how are you?" To me, that's life. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is to get to know what they're about yes. and today I love walking with my head up and saying good morning mm -hmm. good afternoon mm -hmm. um, I went through a bad patch this past winter mm -hmm. um, and I was petrified I would not get back to this island to mm -hmm. my home mm -hmm. um, Eileen pulled some strings with some people right, yeah. and got She's me healthy that I could see yeah. <laughs> she pulled she the strings happen. and mm -hmm. we got mm -hmm. she got me to see the correct people at the correct time yeah. 
to get me healthy so again, healthy yeah. again so yeah. that we can sit here mm -hmm. with beautiful people. Absolutely. So yeah. you guys, as I understand, had lit, did this program for 10 years. Yeah. Correct. 10, ten years? More. 10 years. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay. About 10, 10 years, years and you lived with 25 different families yes. in about eight or nine different countries. Correct. Yeah, so I'm wondering which country I think you were most amazed by, or maybe what was your most amazing experience in, in all your travels? Um, and I'm sure oh, you've traveled too. outside the program as well, yes, and we, we know that you're traveling, you're also traveling again, right, this summer? Yes, yeah. we are. Um, I think one of the most moving experiences for me, we were on this organic farm uh, north of Milan, Italy, and um, it was a very large farm, and it was interesting because the person who ran the farm was a woman. Mm. Her name is Iris, and um, she had about 15 workers, and David and I were the oldest workers there, and we met a young woman who was from Athens, Greece. She was an intern working yes. on her uh, PhD in agriculture, mm -hmm. and she was like a daughter to us, and so we became friends, and in September, we are going to Athens, Greece, and we're going to reconnect with her again. Yeah. She's now married with children, mm -hmm. and uh, to see that, and that's I was think with just the Greek really Orthodox special. Easter, mm -hmm. when we went to Greece to see her, um, we went to her father's home, home village. Mm -hmm. and it's almost on the Albanian border, and this was the Easter, and to do what they, how they celebrated Easter through the Greek Orthodox church, church. Mm -hmm. um, and but getting to know why everybody comes to the village and you go see and her grandmother Mother. was 97 years old taking mm -hmm. care of her own house and the things that you do to be accepted into mm -hmm. the families when you first come into the house you take a candle and on the door sill mm -hmm. you put some soot that means I bless the house and you come in. Then I give, it's usually two kisses, but I give three kisses, the third kiss is from the heart. So now we're opening up and saying, I didn't understand though, you do not sit at the dinner table without eating. Once you sit down, that means I want food and I want, they stuck me in the corner so I couldn't get out and kept bringing, but that was learning what their lives well, are all that's about. Right. That's, that's and that's what just the, mm -hmm. this program. But I'm going to say Greece, Greece. going to Greece yes. to this very religious, but the whole village gets together. Mm -hmm. And the village is divided yeah. east, west, or north, mm -hmm. south. Mm -hmm. And the center is divided east, west, north, south. However, that is, and, but to be accepted, we became accepted to that village the next morning people coming out as we're walking through the square. Well, I can imagine a lot of that has to do with your personality because, <laughs> you know, I don't know yeah. that just anybody would be able to travel yeah. anywhere and have yeah. a similar... And feel comfortable enough yeah. to, to want to stay. What about England? Did you travel to England? We have been to, to England, England a few times. We did not work there, but oh, we have been to yeah. uh, England. I'd um, like to challenge you to do that because I was in England myself oh. for 17 years. Yes. I, really? I, yes, I was in the Navy yeah. and so forth. Oh, okay. Then. And another challenge for you is to go to Nevis. Uh, have you? We've heard. We, we've, we've heard. We've been, well, we've, we've been to Nevis. Yeah, we've been we were sailing one time. I oh, oh yes. sailing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we had charted a sail. So I'd oh. like to oh. throw into this that this traveling that they did with mm. this program was done after retirement, right? It was yes. post retirement. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and um, so for those of us who are wondering what we're going to do with the rest of our lives, yeah. right? Here's something. Yes. Here's, here's a great idea. Mm. Um, in terms of adding that meaning, adding interest, and adding adventure. I know one of the places you guys traveled was India. Did no, you? Nepal. No, Nepal. 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 Yeah. Nepal. Yeah. Yes. One of the yeah. things on my, my bucket list, because I love to hike, um, was to be able oh, to see Mount Everest hiker. up close. Yeah. And um, David only has 60% lung capacity because the chemotherapy that saved his life did damage to his lungs. Yes. So yeah. we were in Australia. Uh, working on a mango farm at the time, and after we finished working, Dave would have put a couple liters of water in a backpack mm -hmm. and go 
walking yes. around some hills to kind of get ready mm -hmm. for it. So um, again, we had limited funds and I found a touring company that um, said there'd be no more than 20 people and would meet at Kathmandu, Nepal, mm -hmm. and then we would hike up to um, 13,000 feet to the Tambochi Monastery. Oh so we get to the airport and usually you know, if there's a big group I'm looking for all the people, there's no one there, and usually there'd be a sign that would say our name. Mm -hmm. um, and somebody comes up to us, no one had signed up for this group except for David and me. Oh, so we had our own guide mm -hmm. and porter, and we stayed in Tibetan tea houses on like a flat board in a sleeping bay because it was cold, mm -hmm. it was March, and when you, you know, the high elevations are very cold. And so we trekked for 11 days, mm -hmm to uh, 11,200 feet and uh, sometimes we'd have to go over these narrow little bridges but wait our turn because that's how the yaks travel and they mm -hmm. carry everything in the high you know, mm -hmm. mountains there. So that was an incredible experience meeting the people from Nepal and also from Tibet mm -hmm. who have come over to live in Nepal. Mm -hmm. You are the bravest people that I've ever come across <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Honestly, you, you, okay. you, you, you were brave. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, it's a risk, really. And I think the thing is you recognize that life is about taking some risks and you're yes. willing to take them as you go along yeah. and yeah. benefit from them and at the same time just um, get well. What, you mentioned something about children. You, what, what, what did the children think about your idea? Well, they thought first, <laughs> some people at my church and <laughs> David's children said, now, what are you doing? They said, yeah. We're going to travel the world yeah. and we're going to do it because we're going to work. And yeah. we're workers. Yeah, work, yeah. We don't mind working yeah, at right. all. Because that's and part of the they program, said, yeah. um, are you going to be safe? Where are you going to stay? So sometimes we had very comfortable accommodations. Okay. And sometimes there would just be some wood crates with a sleeping bag on top of it right. with a makeshift tent. Yeah, mm -hmm. So it, it was all over the place. So, mm -hmm. But I thought, you know, if you don't have to live there the rest of your life, right. you know, you can put up with this inconvenience for a few weeks to experience mm -hmm. something different. It's so, um, not an inconvenience when you look at the total picture. Mm -hmm. It's, we got to know where she's talking about living too. in Maui. This was on Maui, the road mm -hmm. to Hana. Mm -hmm. It's two hours to go 21 miles. Mm -hmm. There are 52 one-lane bridges and Goodness. 200 <laughs> hairpin turns. Mm -hmm. So you don't go over 25 miles an hour. It's a long oh way, but God. we get out to mm -hmm. no man's land. And why do people mm -hmm. want to live there? Mm -hmm. Why did we come to visit there and once we learned these people wanted to live off the grid, they wanted to yeah. to grow things and mm -hmm. so forth, we got to know why, and that was the so main reason. You've got to write a book. Oh. As a matter of fact, you've got to write about two or three books, to be honest. <laughs> no, I'm serious. You're going With to this uh, edit for speech, us? Well, we'll <laughs> find somebody. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because this experience is out mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. this world. Mm -hmm. And there are very few people who've gone through this to be able to live life to its fullest and just go and explore wherever you want to feel comfortable enough to do what you need to right. do mm -hmm. and learn how to be comfortable with uncomfortableness. Mm -hmm. I think that that's a big, 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 big Still part of it. That. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Well, sure. yeah. So let's ask a little bit about that. If there were any anxious moments or moments where you felt like, mm. you know, I yes. can't do this, so this feels too yes. much. Getting oh, off yeah. the plane. Oh, for David, from the beginning. In Auckland, New, Ham but New you, Zealand. You did and, it. <laughs> uh, well, we spent time in youth hostels. Mm -hmm. uh, not knowing where I'm going to put my head down, yeah. how, what kind of food are we going to eat, yeah. that was the challenge. Wow. Oh, you do it once, the next time was a little easier. Yeah. I'm still, <laughs> he gets anxious. still doing it. Um, so one of the things I was thinking, we stayed uh, and worked in four different locations in Australia. Yeah. This first one was in Kangaroo Valley in New South Wales. Mm -hmm. And then we um, went to um, a place called Humpty Doo. It's in the northern part of, um, of Australia near Darwin. It's very tropical. Yeah, no, we were yeah. there for a monsoon. Mm -hmm. We chose that on purpose because mm -hmm. I thought, I want to know what a monsoon is about. But um, we were there working on a mango farm. Um, 
there were rows of you know trees and suddenly under the straw I see this movement like a wave and Australia has the most deadly animals on this planet mm -hmm. and they have these huge 10 foot uh, red-bellied red -bellied black, black snakes, snakes, snakes that snakes. kill mm -hmm hundreds of dogs every year. I mean, they're oh, very man. vicious. Yeah. And so when I saw that movement, I backed off and we were taught that you always take a stick and poke it in mm -hmm. to wherever you're weeding or whatever work yeah, yeah, you're yeah, doing. Yeah. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. they also wow. have poisonous spiders, even in Sydney. Mm -hmm. And you look in your shoes and under the sheets before you go to bed because mm -hmm. yeah. they're, they're you actually know there. to mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. uh, when you get up, you when you go to bed at night, you pull the sheets down, everything down, you oh, shake yeah. everything out, you take yeah. your pillowcases off, and then you check to wow. make your bed, yeah. and yeah. then you go. So you learn okay. to walk, yeah. you learn, well, to walk main is you walk in a straight line. Yeah. Uh, and the animals feel also, vibrations. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, so you, you walk like stomping because snakes can't hear but they can feel vibrations. Oh, so see. that way if there were some red belly snakes around, mm -hmm. they would hopefully move away from mm -hmm. us. Oh, well. Maybe they could hear as well, you know, some of those snakes yeah, are very Yeah, they say tricky. that mm -hmm. these can't. So, yeah. uh, but seeing, you know, kangaroo and mm -hmm. wallaby, I yeah. mean, it was, it was pretty. So you had to learn the cultural routine yes. in yes. each yes. country, yes. In each sort of country. like when, when in Rome, do, do as Romans, mm -hmm. because yeah. otherwise, if you don't, in Australia, ooh, you won't survive. It would Absolutely. not be. It yeah. shows first, you how culture mm -hmm. has evolved to yes. support our. The first words we learn in any country we go to is please, thank you, mm. and for Eileen, the <laughs> <laughs> Um And just like here, when you come to this island, yeah. it's good morning, good mm -hmm. afternoon, how are you? Get the pleasantries out of the way. We didn't catch that until we arrived to this island. Mm, this okay. island, then we learned mm. that mm. that is a culture here that I don't know of all the places we've been to all over the world. Uh, we've been to Russia and China. Um, been to Egypt. Russia too? Yeah, yes. Russia, China, oh, uh, Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, we've been to Greece, Italy, Switzerland. Australia, Australia, Australia Fiji, Australia. Hawaii. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we you took any pictures and so forth? We have several thousand pictures. Yeah, yeah. But are they on your phone? No. Okay. You need to put We've those in the book. We've got to see those at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. 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 I have them on the book. I have them back in the So you time. know what's striking me, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ali, is that it takes some courage to live a meaningful life. That's right, yeah. Right. It this is more courage. than meaningful. This is, uh, you know, this. Yeah. But you're the explorers. That's really what you are. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the beauties about this is that I think you have found your true purpose in life. I know you did your work, uh, construction mm -hmm. thing, and your teaching and so forth. But after that now, as you grow older, you're exploring, you're seeing the world, you've got a story to tell. Mm -hmm. And of course, this is really a big, big part of, of, of your life and what you will leave behind for others to and see. And it's an and inspirational story yeah. that mm -hmm. lets the rest of us know that maybe we can do some things that enrich our own experiences right. as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I, can I add to it, Mr. Ali, mm -hmm. that Eileen and David built their own house here. The really? two of them. In well, I know months, he does uh, construction. But just the yeah. two of them by hand. Which hand? By, by her hand and by her hand. He, <laughs> these we hands. did the work. Yeah. We had uh, a gentleman here, on uh, Fred, Frederickstead, draw it for mm. us so that he can turn, take it, and got the building permits and things yeah, that yeah, we yeah, needed. We that, yeah. And then we hired a site work person to do the clearing of the mountain, the hillside, mm. um, and then a guy to do the concrete work. And mm. then from there on, we yes. did, we did it, it all ourselves. And, and this is three years ago. Yeah, and it took it. them six months. Six months. Six months. You're amazing. Right. Yes. And, and, and I'm so glad that you met the good lady. You met, oh. you all met playing tennis. We met playing tennis. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. sure. And so the, the point of that is that life continues. That's right. right. Yeah. Life mm -hmm. continues. Mm -hmm. so, all um, the way. Right. So it continues in playing tennis. It continues mm -hmm. in playing pickleball. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. It continues in having these wonderful um, discussions with you all um, and in meeting other people and meeting new cultures and continuing to travel. Mm -hmm. And I think many of us feel as though our lives are limited yeah, 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 to right. what we've experienced in, mm -hmm. in the past, mm -hmm. right? To what we've experienced in the past yeah. and that it stops after a certain point. And so one of the things that really has inspired me about 
their story mm -hmm. is that a lot of this was done after retirement. That's right. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so we can yes. continue to add meaning to our lives, That's right? right? Yeah, well, all the time. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is very, 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 very good mm -hmm. indeed. So generally, what advice would you give to people who might be looking for some ideas as to how they can expand their lives, how they can be That's creative and well, so forth? I think that my advice would be, you know, take a risk, take a chance. Yeah, okay. um, because if not, you're going to be in the same place in five years mm -hmm. or 10 years mm -hmm. or 20 years, mm -hmm. and you're going to miss out on a lot of interesting people mm -hmm. and places and adventures. Mm -hmm. And it's a little scary, but I find the more flexible David and I are and open to people and cultures, it enriches our life and makes mm -hmm. us happier. And we just, we just get so much more out of it. So mm -hmm. it's a little scary in the beginning. Like David definitely was nervous about starting now, that's something. That's not true. <laughs> I was petrified. <laughs> and <laughs> now um, he, he does much better with it. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, uh, yeah. And it's just been so, re I mean, I can't even begin to say how rewarding it is mm -hmm. to the people and the places and the cultures mm -hmm. that we have experienced. Mm -hmm. is, is well, one incredible. of the things that I think really is important is for us all to figure out what life is all about and to the extent that we can expand it as we go along. We don't have to be just in one place all the time in terms. And it, when, it, when I stop to think about it, it had to be something going on in your mind as well. Th that, because it's not just the, being part of the group that mm -hmm. allows you to go out and do these things, mm -hmm. but there had to be something in your mm -hmm. mind that uh, really put this big picture together about what you want to be, yeah. and it keeps going all mm. the time. Have I'm you figured sure. that I out? Don't, I don't think I figured it out. My mm. mother um, was a real inspiration to me. She was so open to other people and ideas, and I think it encouraged me to think outside the box. Yeah. And. Mm. Um, but you made some of the boxes. It wasn't just a case of thinking right. outside mm -hmm. the box. Mm -hmm. yes. Where there was none, you made a box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Made a big box. Yeah, a big box. Yeah. Big box. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, um, it's been wonderful. And we, now that we have our little house and our home here, right. we're mm -hmm. thinking about there's still more people and places we want to visit. Right. Still be here, yeah. but oh, go well, off and go So what does that look like? Mm -hmm. What does that look like in terms mm -hmm. of where you might want to visit or oh, what's left to do? Oh, I have not. I've visited Central America, but we have not visited South America. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, a number of years ago, I hosted an exchange student from Bolivia from La Paz, Bolivia. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm hoping that if we get to mm -hmm. Bolivia that um, I'll get to see her again. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. Okay. So I'd like to, to do that part of the world. If What's we on your list, David? To get through her list. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, her list is long. And I, I don't have a, 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 not genuine, but a uniqueness to a, I need to follow. I'm a follower, mm -hmm. not a leader. Eileen mm -hmm. is the leader. Yeah. Um, she has come up with some fabulous things. Ideas, yes. um, mm -hmm. My thing is, I still want to know what you all are mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. yeah. and why. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when we leave here, uh, we go back, and I'm in the doctors for quite a while, mm -hmm. but then we're going to go to um, Italy and then to Greece, mm -hmm. um, and then hopefully maybe up to the equator so that we mm -hmm. can see. Mm -hmm. Um, what that is about. But before you do all those things, I want to just start putting the book together because you have all the places that you've been to. And they've got, got the got pictures. A load of pictures, oh, you know. Okay. We can get somebody to. This, this is a world reader. Everybody would want to yeah. read this to yeah. see. And I'm sure for every place, every household, every country, every location, there are a ton of stories. That's there right. are. There are a ton yeah. of stories. Yeah. What, is, what a beautiful idea. Yeah. Well, yes, yeah, we've yeah. got to get that together. And, and, and you it's know, open to it. anybody. It's, it's right. This mm -hmm. cultural program is mm -hmm. you just have to be able to take orders. And if you don't want to do it, mm -hmm. may I do something different? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so this, this place is somewhere in the States? Where it's this anywhere is in the world. Oh, no, but, but oh. I mean, where's the main office? Of there isn't. Board? There isn't. It's, <laughs> it's just, I think it's just a website. It's like, Oh, and, a website. Do you know it? Yeah, just it's www. 
O O F dot com. Wait, wait. W W O O F. O O F. O O F dot com. Or maybe dot net. So we'll spell. So it's willing workers on organic farms, right? And it's in probably ninety percent of all the countries of the world. And it's it started in the seventies. Uh, for people in Europe who wanted an experience to work on farms. And then from there, it spread all over the place. Um, it tends to draw a younger crowd because, you know, it, it's an adventure yeah. and you don't have to have any money just mm -hmm. to get there. Yeah. Um, but then that was, I was a little nervous when I first signed on because I thought, here, we're old. Will they want us? But yeah. I found being older was a real advantage because mm -hmm. we have a work ethic and we have skills. Right. You know, we've been around long enough to develop mm -hmm. those. And you so, like people. Mm -hmm. And we like people yeah, a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's so, amazing. Um, because and, and that the kids that mm -hmm. do it, and mm -hmm. I'm going to use the word kids, mm -hmm. they don't understand what life's about yet to know that you need to get to know these people in this area for it could be religious reasons, it could be whatever uh, their reason is. And they were more in tune as, when I'm done work, what can I do? Mm -hmm. yeah. We were done work, well, can we learn? Right, and right. That, a different perspective. Yeah. A different perspective. Yeah. perspective. And again, it had to do wonderful. with maturity, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, wonderful. So, so what are we going to do? I mean, I mean you have any Mr. Ali, to you and I are going to have to sign up and go somewhere, Mr. Ali, and then we can always come back and talk about what our experience is. And we'll interview you to absolutely. see how your experience yeah. is. <laughs> We're going to have to do it, Mr. Ali. We have to take some risks. Yes, take some risks. Yeah, why not, right? The truth of the matter is we all need each other. Mm -hmm. Just some people are far away and so forth, some are closer here. But it's in order to survive, we definitely need each yes. other along the way. And we can learn something from people from different backgrounds and so forth that could be useful to our lives right. as you go along. Mm -hmm. And yes. you are a living evidence that it works. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we want to thank yeah. you so much it's for sharing, no problem. And of course, we got to thank our good friend, Mr. Earl Morris, and of course, Mr. George Matthew, because without them, we don't get this program together, you see. Mm -hmm. So, and I'm going to try to find out if they're going to be joining up to the www.oof.com. Um, as well. They should. We all need and to join. And they can come with us, Mr. Yeah, four of us. Yeah, four of us, no problem at all. We'll be your guides. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah. Or Eileen will be. So I'll, 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 be, I'll dream about that tonight. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. Well, and we will move forward as we go along. Okay. <laughs>